What is the cloud? No, I'm not talking about what planes fly through, but I'm talking about these. The cloud is a network of data centers and servers located around the world and are available for people to pay for and use whenever they need to. And they offer services like compute, storage, and machine learning, and many more. The top three cloud service providers in the world are Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud. And in total, these all make up of 50% of the market share in the cloud computing space. The current market leader by a long way is AWS, and they first started their cloud computing business side of things in 2006. So why do people use the cloud? Well, one of the main benefits is that you don't have to buy the computers and servers up front, but instead you can just borrow the computer or infrastructure resources whenever you need to over the internet. It's very analogous to how you pay for and use electricity and water in your own home because you don't think about how much over the course of a year, how much water you're gonna use and buy that all up front and store it somewhere in the house. No, you just, you know, you turn your tap on, let the water run and every month you pay for how much water you used. The other reason people are preferring to use the cloud over having the data centers and servers themselves is because it's far cheaper cheaper for the company. And this is because of the massive economies of scale at play. Whoa, 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 hang on there. Economies of scale? What, what is an economy of scale? So the best way to explain economies of scale is that if you go out and make just an individual thing, it's probably gonna cost more per item than if you go out and make 100,000 things because the more you make of something, the, the generally the cheaper it gets per item. Okay, nice, side explanation done. Right, so maybe you're thinking, what do the companies actually use the cloud for now? See, it's quite often that software companies are the main talking point when you talk about the cloud. But you know what? I like some hard tech engineering myself, so let's check out a couple of companies in that area. Boom is one of my favorite aerospace startups and it's located in the USA and their goal is to bring back supersonic commercial air travel. When it comes to designing a supersonic aircraft like what Boom's trying to do, one of the biggest time consuming things and the most expensive things can be performing the simulations related to the fluid dynamics and also performing finite element analyses on the aircraft's design. The reason these things are so time consuming is because they require huge amounts of computational power and you know if you are to run those sort of calculations and simulations on just an average computer that's going to take you days to actually run the, the computation and possibly even weeks depending on just how complex this is and with something like what Boom's trying to do while like building like a full-on you know supersonic jet aircraft that's going to take you know a long time and a lot of resources. So Boom decided to use AWS's high performance computing services and were able to then make sure they're able to run really good simulations about the design of the aircraft just on, on a much cheaper basis because you know Boom didn't have to pay for the servers and the high performance computers. They solely had to rent them from AWS and when they're done with them, they don't need to worry about them. So there's no maintenance cost, there's no operational like costs further down the line in regards to actually managing the server itself. So ultimately this saved Boom millions of dollars. They also used less intensive computing powers from AWS, but that was just to manage the overall high performance clusters. So they were able to then get through the millions of hours of simulation that needed to be run. This then in turn made them able to develop a real supersonic plane and have it on the runway in a really short amount of time compared to what it would have taken back in the day. From fast planes to fast cars, the next industry we're gonna talk about is motorsport. In recent years, using the cloud has revolutionized the world of Formula One, and this has been such a game changer in the sport. If you watch Formula One like me, you'll know how crucial decisions are during the race. For example, when to pit stop, what tires to use, you know, what other racing strategies should they implement as a team. Formula One cars are now, you know, not just only your combustion engine, to four wheels, and there's so much more technology that goes into Formula One cars now than ever has before and each Formula One car has many many sensors each producing 1,500 data points every second. Formula One uses AWS's machine learning and data analysis services via the cloud 
to process this sheer tons of data that go through a car every race and are able to in real time make decisions based on what the data is saying. So the race engineers are able to look at the outcomes of machine learning processes to then make the best decision for that current moment in time in the race. So they're able to predict the risk of being undercut or overcut in terms of when you're pit stopping, whether or not they should pit before their competitor or not. And ultimately this gives them the insight to, to try and ensure that they're able to do the best they can in that race. We have it, a brief explanation of what the cloud is, as well as how it's being used in hard tech engineering. The subscribe button and also hit the like button if you enjoy this video and Check out this other video that I've made about what I've been doing at my work so far because I am working in software engineering right now. So have a look and enjoy.